Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. Whenever I tell you guys that I am excited for a tour, it's always true, but this one I have been anticipating for a while now. We are touring the island of Mia Canyon. This is by Mia, also known as acnh.mialand on Instagram. Of course, I will make sure to put all of her information in the description box. I messaged Mia forever ago asking to tour her island when the dream address was released. So I am really excited to finally be seeing this stunning work of art she has created. If you guys like island tours just like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I do put out videos every Wednesday and Friday. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and look at this map. Look at that amount of pathing. Oh my goodness. I'm guessing she covered her entire island in some form of dirt or sand. It's definitely a canyon, desert, western sort of inspired island. So I'm really, really excited to see all the creativity. Also, look at that river mouth going all the way through the island. That's really, really creative. So of course, here is Mia's house. And then for villagers, we have Blair. Silvana, oh my gosh, I miss Silvana. I had her on my island a long time ago. Eric, Poppy, Toby, Winnie, another one of my favorites. Fauna, Molly, Chevre, and Tad. Oh my goodness, I had Tad, Winnie, and Silvana all on my last island. So definitely some familiar faces here. Also, here is the dream address on the screen, you guys. You are absolutely going to want to visit this island. I have zero doubts. All right, here we go. So here is the flag. Also, I am so jealous of the orange airport. And let's go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh. See, look at this entrance, you guys. This just goes to show you do not need crazy amounts of terraforming to make something beautiful. Also, there's a present right here, which reminds me there were also a few outside of resident services whenever I woke up. Oh, a little petal basket. And Mia did say that there are several gifts kind of scattered throughout, so we will pick them up as we go. Oh, a mom crown. Oh yes, now I am matching, matching the vibes here. So this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I don't even know which way to go first. You know what, let's go to, oh, oh. Let's go to the left. I feel like I normally go towards the right first, but I wanna go back here. Ooh. Oh, I love this simplicity as well. Also, can we talk about this very subtle custom path layered on top of all of this dirt? Super effective and so, so nice. Oh my gosh, and back here we have a little trailer park. Oh, how sweet. We'll absolutely love this. So camera time, of course. Here we have a little trailer park. Now, I absolutely love the standees and I think there's such great items that were put into the game that you can customize. And the trailer park trend has definitely been one I'm a fan of, but oh my gosh, seeing them scattered like this with terraforming right behind it and the cliffs to kind of block out the windows is brilliant. I haven't seen that before. So this is so cool. And the little ukulele, we have some Polaroid cameras. Love, love, love that. Oh my gosh, and I, for a second, I thought this was an actual bridge, but of course it's not. There's no water here. This is simply a custom code. Wow, a little land bridge without being on a cliff. So unique. Yeah, I am absolutely loving this. And even just the trees in the background make it all look so so nice. Love it. Little trailer park. So I want to go around here. Looks like there's a little seating area for the trailer. And I want to say I saw the campsite on the beach up here. Oh yeah, it looks like we're getting into it. So I want to check that out before we continue on our journey through this amazing island. I mean, Holy cow, from the termite mounds to all of the beautiful flowers. Yes, here we are, and here is the campsite on Mia Canyon. Wow, and this is a really well done beach campsite. Look at the simplicity here, y'all. Sometimes I get overworked trying to really make my structures work, make them unique, but this is really simple and beautifully done. 
just a cozy little beachfront campsite right next to the airport. I mean, that's so nice, is it not? And then of course behind are these mini tents, a nice little stargazing area. And I love the dropped stocks on the ground too. Those little details really, really make an island special. It's so nice. All right, well, I am going to go, I think I'm gonna continue on this left journey that's happening here. <gasps> Wait, is this bridge what I think it is? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. So I have seen, I well, first off, I have been stalking Mia's Instagram for this island because I am blown away. But I remember seeing a picture of this specific area and I was just floored. Look at that. That is beautiful. Also, look at just the detail of how this is set in fall. The, the tiniest little details like how the weeds look different, how the grass blends in a little bit better with the actual dirt pathing. Those details just are amazing. Oh my gosh, the museum! And of course she didn't upgrade her museum because this tent is way too perfect for this kind of aesthetic. Oh, and how nice she made it like a visitor center. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love it. That is amazing. Also, I like the two signs next to one another. I think that's really, really neat. Well, she made Blathers a little visitor center of his own. Well, I definitely love this. And look, the little lost item matches so nicely. Man. This is just so pretty. Oh, and we have an incline right here, but what's down this way? I wanna follow this bridge. Oh, Silvana, hi. Whoa, this custom code is something else. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, the ping pong table? Who would have thought that this would look so nice put on a beach, but it really, really does. So on this side of the island, it just looks like we have some really cozy beach cabins. Loving the white surfboard against these wooden houses. Oh my gosh, and the leopard print, how sweet. My kind of beach, that's for sure. Oh, and what's this? We have another present, so we gotta open it up. Loving this dock too. I really, really like the festival garland. Party poppers, you know what? Let's just celebrate while we're here. <laughs> but isn't this really precious? Just a nice cozy little dock. Actually, it's a big dock, hashtag big dock energy. Love it. I really like the concept of putting villager houses on the beach and making them beach cabins. That really is brilliant. Really, truly. Okay, so let's go up that incline that I was peeking at earlier because I have a feeling um, we're gonna see some amazing views. <laughs> I really love the visitor center. Okay, so there's two inclines. I wonder if they're different points of interest. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa, whoa, did you guys see that lag? Oh, whoa, okay, so this is the canyon itself. Wow. Is this like the infamous post that I saw on Reddit from her island? I think it is. Look at the amount of, t of uh, uh, termite, <laughs> termite mounds. This is brilliant. This just goes to show that you can take one single item and turn it into a work of art in this game. It's so amazing. Wow, that lookout is amazing. Oh, look how cute and just a little ring toss game. <laughs> I can't get over how just dang smart it is to use these custom codes and create these bridges. So smart. And of course, I will put Mia's Instagram in the description box below. I believe she has a highlight for codes if you are interested in using any of these. Oh, 
look at the spa on this rock. This is a giant rock. Am I crazy? Is this massive? But what a nice little spa area. Oh, this is beautiful. Huge fan of that. Okay, I do want to go back around and see the other incline that she has placed over here. Wow, I do love the concept of a, just a tiny little spa on your beach rocks. That is so brilliant. And then over here, it looks like we have just another little lookout area. Oh, stunning. The little baby lookout. <laughs> My shadow is like in the way, there we go. Wow, and look at the grasshopper in the background. Do you guys see it? There it goes. <laughs> Just, even those little details that are unintentional, I always have to appreciate. So let us go through the canyon. Holy moly. I, hold on, we're gonna have a little photo shoot moment right here because um, I need it in my life. This is possibly the coolest thing I've, I've ever seen. Not me just taking a million pictures. Wow. <clears throat> and then behind this canyon, we have this stunning desert area. Wow, and again, the simplicity is just so perfect, even just with this villager house right here. You have enough decorations to make sure that they have a little yard, but really it's, the simplicity is the, the brilliance of it, truly. Wow, I, oh my gosh, I told y'all I had been anticipating this island. Oh, also, hello, fossil. And holy, Moly, it is living up to every single one of my expectations. This is amazing. Oh, and a little puppy dog next to this beach. You know what's beautiful about this island too? Even though it's very desert, canyon kind of inspired, it is so beautiful with the little touches of purple and white that are scattered throughout. I just think that's absolutely stunning. I'm gonna have a concert back here, a beach concert. Oh yeah, this is where, I mean, KK would thrive here. Wow, Mia really knows how to decorate her beach rocks, doesn't she? Ooh, what song is this? I'm curious. Welcome Horizons. The OG, the classic. Even the little details like the coffee and the tea, just sitting on these pillows, so nice. And then we have our little shopping district back here. We have Able Sisters. And then we also have Nook's Cranny over here on the right. Loving the way this well in the middle is decorated too, just with the bushes surrounding it and the flowers interchangeably throughout as well. And then what's back here? Beautiful secret beach. I love. I love a little sand castle. That's a. I never really thought to put my nooks, cranny, and able surrounding the secret beach, but I think that's really smart. Super unique. Oh, an incline. Well, hello. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and then we have more villager house. Okay. I'm sorry. Can we just talk about this? I'm gonna get all the way out of the way because this is just beautiful. What a perfect example of how to incorporate villager houses into whatever theme that you're going for. This, it looks so seamless and so perfect how this house is just surrounded by this canyon and these cliffs. Oh, I absolutely love it. Pine cone. <laughs> wow. I am just in awe, if you can't tell. Oh, what's back here? Ooh, oh, is 
this the pool? Oh, I have heard some amazing things about this pool. Wow, oh, how neat. <gasps> no freaking way. Okay, 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 we have to do this. So, Mia told me that right here, well, it's a present, but I'm pretty sure it's a wetsuit, is that right? Yes, okay, okay, okay. Y'all, check this out. Check, watch. You can actually dive into the water. Ah, that is brilliant. I had absolutely no idea that you could jump that high off of cliffs. I mean, that is so smart. And then the little sign, I believe, brings you back to that secret beach area. I mean, are you kidding? Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Because it is. And if you say it's not, you're lying. Oh my gosh, off camera, I'm gonna do that about 20 more times, trust me. Isn't that so cool? Okay, I'm gonna go back up. I'm not, I promise I won't drop, jump off again, just, you know, I don't wanna waste time. But how? smart is that you have this beautiful infinity pool surrounded by these cliffs i'm getting total like palm springs palm desert vibes and then this diving board are you joking me absolutely insane absolutely insane so i'm gonna take the wetsuit off just so i have my outfit back <laughs> i mean that's so smart it's absolutely brilliant. You put on the wetsuit, you can jump off this whole cliff, which who knew? This is a third level cliff. Yeah, I'm just floored. Okay, onward. <laughs> I told you guys I have been so excited to see this island and wow, is it blowing my mind. How brilliant. You know, you've seen pools on islands, but a diving board that's actually usable? Who knew? Again, with these villager houses, how they just blend so seamlessly into the island. Ugh. And I love all of the very, very natural elements like the log stakes. We have lots of stone and brick items. Oh, hi, sweet fauna. So here's another canyon trail, and then I'm gonna, I'll go up that incline. Don't worry, I'm not missing it. <laughs> so, ugh, are you kidding? Again, sorry, we're having a photo shoot moment. This is, I'm living my best life right here. Wow, and then that's back here. <gasps> Stop, look at these kayaks. That is a clever custom design. And then of course you have another little wetsuit right there. I am so impressed with all of the ways these rocks have been decorated. Truly floored by the creativity, how just innovative Mia is with this island. I, it, uh, words are failing me, quite frankly, to describe how absolutely beautiful this is. And let's go up the incline. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Don't mind me. Let me just inject all of the serotonin into my body with this view. Yeah. You know what? There's very little waterscaping on this island. Um, but where it is used, it is so purposeful and so lovely. Oh, and we're at Mia's house. I wonder if she's around here too. Cute little seating area. Oh, how nice. And I love that her house is just this bright pink. I think that's so sweet. Pink and orange are two colors that look amazing together. And of course, it matches so well with the whole island itself. Man, this is beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, what a living room. 
I love this because it really fits the whole feel of the entire canyon. I love the calendar that we have right there. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of cushions on this island too, which definitely gives me the camping kind of vibe. I really like how cozy it makes everything feel. All right, let's check out this left room first. Oh, how cool. And then we have this pottery room. Again, absolutely perfectly fits the theme. These colors too, just the warm sort of terracotta colors scattered throughout is just, just lovely. And I won't ruin the illusion of the climbing wall right there. So I'm gonna go back this way. So smart, so beautiful. Again, I can't even act surprised because I was anticipating the dream address release for so long. So I can't even be shocked at how beautiful this is, but it is. It is living up to my wildest dreams. Stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is another room I'm not gonna pan in except like that. And I'm gonna get out of the way a little bit. Maybe I'll sit right here. This is so smart, this concept where you have a bedroom, but because of the wallpaper and because of the climbing walls turned around backwards, Mia created this balcony, an outdoor patio of sorts, and it works so, so well. Oh, chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Wow. That's some serious inspiration right there. You could do that with any wallpaper. You could do it with stargazing. You could do it with, you know, a cityscape, but like creating that illusion of a balcony or a patio, brilliant. Oh, and look at how sweet this bathroom is. Oh, I love how it's very much segmented into kind of a vanity type of area. And then back there you have a cozy bath and is there a shower back there? Again, I don't I don't want to pan too much because I love the illusion that these climbing walls give us. What a beautiful bathroom. And again, the color scheme is so consistent throughout this entire house, really throughout the entire island, but wow. Have I said wow a billion times yet or Let's see what's upstairs. Again, brilliant. Same exact concept, but wow, wow, wow. And we have a dining area, a nice little living space. And I love the simplicity, you know, there's no TVs here, you know, well, I mean, I say that we still have another room to go, but everything is very cozy. It's very personal. I love it. I love it. And I love the cushions as seats for the actual dining tables too. And downstairs time. So pretty. Wow. I like how this room too, it just feels darker. It feels like we're at golden hour. I love this little seating spot right here and just the little detail of the tennis shoes. Do you guys call these tennis shoes or sneakers or gym shoes? Let me know in the comments. I know sometimes that varies based on where people are from. And I love the little fire pit right there. Oh, can I just, can I do this? Oh, this is so therapeutic. <laughs> wow, what a house. 10 out of 10 house. It fits the theme. The color coordination was just on point. And it was so unique. I am so inspired now to do that patio balcony type of concept in some of my interiors. <gasps> Molly. Hello. 
Hello, Angel. Well, before we go down that incline, I wanna see what's back here. I don't want any part of this island to go unturned. Whoa. Wow. So the moon is one of my favorite items in the game. I'm pretty sure I have told you guys, Pinecone. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys that before, but look at its usage right here. Oh, I'm still in the way. <laughs> I mean, that's so pretty. There are so many, okay, y'all are gonna have to visit this dream address because there are so many beautiful points of interest for pictures, for, you know, just getting inspiration. Yeah, I'm amazed. I'm so amazed and I'm so inspired. It's, you know, I do so many island tours and I love doing them because I'm just blown away by what people create. But every once in a while, I'll come across an island and I knew this would be one that makes me want to just get back in the game, you know? Really, really get back to doing some decorating myself, thinking outside the box. And I think Mia's Island has cured my burnout. Truly, I mean, wow. Maybe it's over here. I see another present. Oh, it's cinema! Okay, hold on. Before we explore that, I'm, you know, I want the present. <laughs> I like that concept too. Instead of having all of the presents outside of resident services, they're kind of scattered throughout. So good. And of course, the wind turbines are a perfect item for this type of island. Oh, how sweet. We have a little ticket right there for the movie. <laughs> I never thought to put a cinema on the peninsula, but that is brilliant. So creative. And the festival garland behind those simple panels looks really, really nice. I bet it looks really cool at night too, since they light up. Wow. This is also really, really cool. See how these rocks, the actual in-game rock items are placed on top of some rock custom codes. It really adds like depth and dimension right here and just fills up that space so nicely. Hi Molly. Thank you for showing me where I can get back on the path. <laughs> can I, I guess I can hop right here. <laughs> oh wait, do we have all of the rocks right here? One, two, three, four. Yep. Yep, of course there's a rock garden. Of course there is. They're all in a perfect spot over here. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love that. So over this way, this is the area that Mia calls, I think we're close to the ranch. Wow, look at this view too. amazed I am so amazed and if you really look at everything there's a lot of flowers there's a lot of weeds you know you don't need too many like you don't have to get too caught up on items right you have a little bit of furniture but a lot of it is just terraforming flower placement absolutely love so there is an area I'm gonna run through resident services <laughs> this is where you'll wake up if you decide to visit but there's an area behind here, I believe, that we might have, might have missed. Yeah, okay, so Dobie's house is back here and Dobie, being the cranky boy he is, he gets his own little cave, which, I mean, how adorable is that? Just giving a little bit of personality, making sure he has his own little spot. It's just so nice. Oh, and this whole area is stunning. There's just so much to see. A little barbecue happening here. Okay, I want to go see the ranch. 
I love you, Winnie, but I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> I didn't see this earlier. Wow. I love the time of day this is set in too. I believe it's right golden hour time. And here is Silvana's house. Here's the ranch, okay. I was like, I know it's around here somewhere. Mia has a, a map that was custom made. Oh, how perfect. Oh, it's so well done. And the little cowboy boots. Look at that. I really like how she used the solar panels to make these barn roofs, which is common if you're building like different barns and things like that. But I really like how they're turned and they're facing, I guess let's just say it's north. <laughs> they're facing north, up. They're facing up instead of facing one another. So good, a little horse barn. It's just so much to see. We even have a little basketball court. And then I believe this is Tad's house because he was on my island for a little bit and I absolutely love the exterior of his home. Am I right? Yeah. This is also inspiring me to put more houses on my beaches. Why don't I do that? Because clearly they can be stunning on beaches. We have a little lighthouse. Again, a rock decorating, 10 out of 10, Mia. Curing all of everyone's burnout <laughs> with this dream address release, holy crap. <laughs> so beautiful. Well, y'all, I hate to end this tour because, I mean, look at it <laughs> but you guys this has been such a treat please go give Mia some love and let her know how amazed you are at her creativity um yeah I am absolutely floored I will make sure to put her Instagram and all that good stuff in the description box below I hope you're having an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in this big old beautiful world that we live in and I will see y'all in the next one Bye bye